Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Pajaro Valley Unified School District Board of Trustees meeting for December 6th, 2017. It's our annual organization meeting, and tonight we will be electing a new uh, president and vice. Um, I'd like to call the meeting tonight officially to order. Are there any public comments on our closed agenda tonight? Okay, so in closed uh, session tonight, we will be reviewing three expulsion referrals. Uh, item 2.2, certificated uh, public employee appointments. 2.3, classified public employee appointments. 2.4, public employee discipline, dismissal, release, or leaves. 2.5, a negotiations update. 2.6, claim for damages. 2.7, existing litigation. 2.8, anticipated litigation. 2.9, pending litigation. And 2.10, approve a final settlement on a special ed student. Thank you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, students. We're so excited that you're here. I got to see you the other night, and it was beautiful. So I cannot wait to hear all the songs again. I want to welcome you to the Pajaro Valley Unified School District Board of Trustees meeting for Wednesday, December 6th. Tonight, we will have a change in leadership. It's our, it's our annual organizational meeting. We're going to be electing a new president and a new vice. So we're glad you're here. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Tonight, we're going to start out with the Pledge of Allegiance, and we're going to ask our student trustee, Perla, to lead us in the pledge. Thank you, Perla. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're going to move to item 3.3. It's a comment by our superintendent, Dr. Michelle Rodriguez. Okay, so on Monday, November 27th, um, I, I was able to complete a day in the life of a board certified behavior analyst, um, Heather Waltz, at both Rolling Hills and Minty White. And so I had the opportunity to see Heather's fantastic work as she um, not only mentored the behavior text, but modeled implementation of the new protocol that we're doing in the RISE program, and also guided a staffing meeting um, for a student. So it was wonderful to see how much social emotional support um, that we had, um, that we have for our special needs students. So up now is, that's a picture of, of Heather. So el lunes 27 de noviembre hice el día en, en la vida de una analista de conducta certificada por el consejo Heather Waltz. Um, en dos escuelas, Rolling Hills y, Men, y, um, y Rolling y Rio del Mar, it should say Rio del Mar. So tuve la oportunidad de ver el fantástico trabajo de Heather mientras ella servía como mentora y también uh, modelaba la impl implementación de un protocol del programa RISE. Y caía también una reunión de personal. Fue maravilloso ver cuánto apoyo so social y emocional brindamos a nuestros estudiantes con necesidades especiales. So on Monday night, we had our Paso a Paso National Press Conference, and we had a great turnout with community partners and elected officials speaking to the importance of the program. So I'd like to thank Board President Kim DeSerpa and Board Trustees Maria Rosco, Leslie DeRose, and Karen Osmondson for speaking at the event. We started with a two million word goal, and we quickly passed that goal in early November. We now have read over 6.2 million words, um, and our new goal, yep, and our new goal is 10 million words. And probably the stars of the show, and that's what I was telling them earlier today, um, was we had our students performing and singing the new Paso a Paso jingle, and you'll hear it tonight. It was quite impressive. So el lunes por la noche tuvimos nuestra conferencia de prensa nacional de Paso a Paso. Tuvimos un gran evento con socios de la, de la comunidad y electos hablando sobre la importancia del programa. Gracias a la, a la Presidente de la Mesa Directiva de SERPA y los miembros María Rosco, Leslie DeRose y Karen Osmondson por su participación en el evento. Comenzamos con un objetivo de dos millones de palabras. Pasamos rápidamente ese objetivo a principios de noviembre. Ahora estamos en más de 6.1 millones de palabras leídas. Nuestro um, nuevo objetivo es 10 millones de palabras. Y las estrellas de esta noche fueron estos niños, fueron los niños. Y escucharán a, a nuestros estudiantes cantando el jingle de paso a paso. Y es bastante impresionante. So thank you. President de Serpa, if I may introduce our interpreter for the night. Yes. Bienvenidos a, a todos a la junta. Solamente les quiero avisar que sí tenemos uh, servicios de interpretación con la señora Saida Raigosa, que está ahí. Si necesitan un dispositivo para la traducción, por favor, vayan con ellos. Gracias. Con ella.
board comments? Does anyone have any comments to make tonight? Okay, Karen. I mean, I've actually done a lot of things, so I, I had to write it down. <laughs> so last night I went to most of the Migrant Parent Advisory Committee and then um, on Monday, I went to the press conference, Paso a Paso, and we received lots of recognition. On Sunday, um, for our multicultural tree lighting event, I passed out probably close to 100 flyers um, because there was a super long, long line of parents, long, long line, waiting to go on the little train that went around the plaza. So I was able to pass out our leaflets to all of them and talk to them. Um, and then, um, let's see, one, two, one, two, three. <clears throat> and then I also went to the, um, the California School Board Association Conference and I left on Wednesday um, afternoon and got back on Sunday Saturday, got back on Saturday, and I learned a lot. I learned a lot. And um, I, l last week, I went to the Migrant Head Start, and I also, well, not at last week, it was the week before, it was for, for Thanksgiving. And then I also went to the DLAC, which is the District English Language Advisory Committee for the TV. And, um, because we're not going to have a meeting for a while. And this Friday, I will go to another Migrant Head Start committee meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Leslie? Hi, everybody. Um, so last week, I, I also went to the CSBA conference. Karen and I were the, the two board members there. Yeah. Um, some of the workshops that I did were on policy updates to keep us compliant with new legislation. Uh, protection of non-resident students' privacy, and um, lessons learned on LCFF we heard from other districts as well as state leaders. Um, I also attended the press conference uh, for the unveiling and rollout of the Footsteps to Brilliance reading app, and that was wonderful. We had so many community partners there and um, our elected officials who are there to support our community, uh, which is great. Um, I'll be attending the Holiday Mixer for PVPSA, Paro Valley Prevention and Student Assistance. And um, some may recall or may not, we uh, recently voted to start Paro Valley Education Foundation. And um, as president of that foundation, I've been working with our attorney on our articles of incorporation, getting our AIN number and our bank account so we can start raising money to help support all of you, all of you guys. Um, in early January, I'm gonna be attending an adult education conference. Although it's going to be with my Cabrillo hat on, I'm gonna learn a lot that I can bring back and report out to the board. So thank you. Thank you, anyone else? Okay. Um, Normally, the next item up would be item 3.5, but I'm going to ask our board to approve allowing these beautiful students in front of us to do their musical performance before we do our student recognition. Is everybody in agreement on that? Okay. Students, you're on. Thank you. These are the four grade students from Radcliffe Elementary School. The, um, <laughs> yeah, Radcliffe. <laughs> and we will be performing uh, three short pieces. This is part of uh, El Sistema Watsonville. And the three pieces are El Beso del Mar. The second piece is called La Mariposa, in which you guys have a, a part of participation. I'll explain to you later. And our last piece uh, will be the Paso a Paso jingle. Thank you.
This piece is a piece from a Peruvian rhyme called La Mariposa. And in this piece, uh, the students do some movement. Can you guys show us your mariposa movements? So I told them that they were going to have a competition between them and you guys to see who has the best mariposa movements. You will see when the mariposa movements come, and then we'll be watching who, who has the most creative movements for the mariposa piece. That was really good. Usually people get really shy and they're like this, but you guys were very expressive. Very nice. <laughs>
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for um, your support of our students. Um, for a long time, we've known that the arts are really an integral part of being a human being, and thankfully we are um, bringing the arts back to PVUSD. This program is called El Sistema, and it's in the after-school program, and um, they started playing I believe late September, and here we are already. And next up we have, next up we have the Aptos Junior High, or Aptos Middle School, I'm sorry, is it? No, Junior High, um, Aptos Junior High, I'm sorry, um, band playing. They also just started this fall. They're doing a fabulous job already. Um, their band director, however, was not able to be here tonight because he had another performance with his his own children. So when that happened, I was talking to um, Mr. Asmith about it and I said, oh shoot, you know, you guys are doing such a great job. I'm so sad that the kids are gonna miss it. And he said, you know what? I talked to the kids and they wanna do it. So they're gonna do it without me and they're gonna be the leaders, which is what music does. Music and the arts makes leaders. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Marshall Nicewanger. I'm an eighth grader here. And um, there's a lot I could say about band, but um, what I really like to talk about is how much I look forward to it during the day. Um, it's my sixth period class, and um, I spend a lot of time just anticipating all the fun that we're gonna have. Like, uh, we're learning a lot and there's a lot of challenges. Sometimes my instrument just won't play for some reason. But um, what I really like that is that I've made a lot of friends that also really like music. And um, I love my band teacher, Mr. Asmuth. He's a great teacher, but he also um, enjoys um, like making some jokes and making this class really fun. And um, it's been, it's been uh, really great. I'm so happy that band has come back because it wasn't um, around in the past. And I, I was hoping for that in the future. So it was, um, it's really amazing that we I finally get to play. And I just really thank you guys. Thank you for the board for the, this opportunity to do that. OK. For, uh, I'm Jonathan Vaccaro, and I'm also in this band class. Um, for me, being in a band class is a lot of fun. I don't normally get to enjoy music at school. I've always sort of wanted to bring my instruments to school and have fun with kids I know and play music, but I've never really had the chance to do that. And so when I heard that there was going to be a band class, I was rejoicing. I was so happy. And being able to play with friends is so much fun. It's really easy to bond over music. The people in my band class, we're all such a closely knit group. There's a really fun culture in this class, and it's really something that I'm just purely enjoying. And every day, like Emily said, I look forward to band. It's the thing that I'm antici anticipating. Thank you. So the students are actually conducting this, this group. So I am going to let, I have the first piece as Good King. Uh, hello, I am Ashton Turner, and I'll be conducting our first piece, Good King Wenceslas. Wizzler, and I will be conducting the second piece, Jolly Old St. Nicholas.
I'm Greta, and the third piece we're going to be playing is Ode to Joy. I'm Kyle Hannigan, and I'm going to be directing Jingle Bells. Thank you very much for joining us and thank you to all your all the parents who brought students here and bring students back and I we really appreciate all your support. Have a great evening and this is the best gift anybody could ever get. Thank you to all the students and families who joined us tonight. It's um, heartwarming to see music um, restored to PBUSD. We had to make very, very deep and ugly cuts over a 10 year period, about $56 million. And unfortunately music had to go during that time. Um, and so um, music has been um, one of the top priorities for this board to uh, restore back to the district. And um, it's just real, this is the very start of an entire music restoration program, which we hope will start in fifth grade, build through junior high and go into the high school years. Um, where I'm, I, I personally am hoping we have marching bands back in the next couple of years as these kids build their skills and 
uh, move up in grades. So I'm, it, it makes me very um, gratified to see this tonight. So I congratulate um, the teachers, all the new teachers in the district who are working hard on rebuilding this program. Next up, we have something also very, very important. It's our Student of the Year recognition. And tonight, we're going to honor four children, or four students. The first is Haley Brooks from Ansoldo Elementary. <laughs> so if Haley, is Haley here tonight? Come on up, Haley. And your, and your family, and any friends that you brought with you, and your teacher or your principal. Whoever's here, come up with her. Is Elaine Parks here? No, it's Parker. Good evening, President DeSerpa, Board Trustees, and Dr. Rodriguez, and good, good evening, audience, family members. Um, I'm super happy to present our student of the year, Haley Brooks. Wonderful, wonderful student. The first person I see in the morning when I'm on my way out to the playground, really. She's an excellent student and an amazing person. She has a heart of gold and is always there to lend a helping hand. She is a model of good behavior in the classroom and on the playground and everywhere she is. She is happy to help her peers as well as the younger students at our school. Some of her favorite memories of her six years at Ann Soldo are hanging out with the teachers and the principals. Gotta love that. <laughs> Helping the first graders in the after school program, having fun with her friends at the spring carnival and going to outdoor school. Her favorite subjects are writing and math. She hopes to go to Stanford and one day be a veterinarian. Outside of school, she stays busy riding horses, playing sports in a lot of our local leagues, and spending time with her wonderful family. This Ann Soldo All-Star is thoughtful, hardworking, and a true shining star. We are thrilled to acknowledge her and her wonderful family as well, who has raised her well, and we're all super proud of her. So congratulations, Haley. <laughs> Pardon me? to speak? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Haley, say something. <laughs> okay. Well, um, my name is um, Leslie DeRose, and I'm one of the trustees on the Pearl Valley um, School Board, and we have a certificate for you to honor you for all of your hard work, and um, I love the fact that you like to hang out with teachers and administration. You learn a lot from them. So anyway, I want to shake your hand and say congratulations and keep up the good work, okay? And where's your family? <laughs> family, congratulations. Good job, Mom. And Dad, congratulations. Thank you. I know it takes the village. <laughs> so what we'd like to do is get a picture with everybody. So if you, um, there's probably not a whole lot. There are instruments in the way, so what do we think? Yeah. Let's go stand under the clock and we'll get a group picture. No. 
house is still mostly in boxes right now, but we'll get there. We will get there. Billy and family and to Aunt Soldo for, for bringing us such a beautiful, smart student. Next up is Ezekiel, is it Pillow or Pilot? Hello from Calabasas Elementary School. Will you come up with your family? working. Uh, good evening, President DeSerpa, members of the board, Dr. Rodriguez. Um, Calabasas is super excited and happy to announce our student of the year, Ezekiel Zeke Palo. Zeke has been in Calabasas since third grade, and uh, the teacher, Miss Desher, who couldn't be here, her husband's uh, having some medical issues, but she said to make sure to but everybody knew that Zeke demonstrates all the learner qualities that we want to instill in our students, that he is a self-directed, motivated, honor roll student and gives his best effort in all subjects. Um, he excels uh, at academics, but what stands out about Zeke is uh, his character as a person. Um, he is, demonstrates all the life skills you'd want to see in a young man. He's caring, he's responsible, he's respectable. Um, He's been a member of the green team at Calabasas for the last four years. Um, in that time, he's helped lead the green team to um, secure many grants to eliminate sporks, reduce napkins, reduce straws, uh, improve our environment. This year, they secured a grant to get a water filling station. They eliminated disposable water bottles from the site, um, got uh, reusable water bottles for every student. Um, he's also served on student council and is currently the student photographer for the school. Uh, beyond that, um, he loves to read and uh, he aspires to become a marine biologist. Um, what's cool about Zeke, uh, he's a great guy and when I was talking to him about, uh, I said, man, you've been on the green team all these years, you'll help lead student council, you guys have got grants and all this great stuff, what's your best accomplishment? And his answer was, student of the year. So <laughs> it just shows that he truly values education. He values. He is just a great kid. So I'm honored to present him as our student of the year. Congratulations, Ezekiel. And that's a really cute couple of brothers you have there. <laughs> Thank you, Calabasas, for choosing such a talented, intelligent young man. Next is uh, up is Wendy Melgosa from Hall District School. Wendy, will you come up if you're here with your family?
Uh, good evening, President De Serpa, Dr. Rodriguez, and board members. Um, my name is Claudia Monasteri. I'm the principal at Hall, and I am here to present Wendy Melgosa, our student of the year. So um, her teacher couldn't be here tonight, but she did want me to share some um, information that she had put together, saying that um, Wendy is a hardworking student. She has been involved over the years in student leadership, Mini Mermaids Running Club, school band, and is always putting her best foot forward. Wendy is well organized, arrives ready to learn, and gives her work a critical eye. In the classroom, Wendy listens carefully, both to teachers and classmates, responding with thought and kindness. Students trust her and listen to what she has to say. In every subject, Wendy gives focused effort and hard work, setting an example of persistence for her classmates and helping them in a way, any way she can. Her positive influence has an obvious effect on all the students. And Wendy actually wanted to be able to talk a little bit about herself as well. Hi, I'm Wendy Magosa. My teacher really um, makes learning fun. She puts an effort to make us feel comfortable. She gives us the choice to move to around to feel comfortable and it makes us easier to learn. She also gives us choice for activities like doing Prodigy for more math practice or art projects. After school, I like to read books, mostly fairy tales. My favorite is the series The Land of Stories by Chris Colfer. My teacher last year recommended them and I read the first one. I had to read the rest. Thank you for choosing me as Hall District Student of the Year. Thank you. And I'm going to give you a, I, I'm going to call it a plaque of recognition for all the work that you've done 